Hi, you've tuned into Honey Calaria's Midday Musty Show on 92FM and I have this really, really talented, beautiful lady with a most wonderful smile. Her name is Catherine and she's here from Black Ice Cheer. Hi, Catherine. Hi, honey. Hi, Catherine. Where do you get this million dollar smile? <laughs> I have three children, so you have to find a sense of humour in your days. <laughs> well, I think this is beautiful. If people could see what kind of smile you've got, I bet you you would be taken up for McLean's ad. <laughs> so tell me, Catherine, tell me, how did you get started with your black ice chair? So I started as a parent. My daughter wanted to try a black ice chair. She wanted to try gymnastics and I didn't realise cheerleading was becoming such a large sport in the UK. She came, she loved it. I was then bitten by the bug. We've always been very much into dance in our family. I danced a lot as a, a younger girl and, uh, and then I decided to take my coaching qualification, became safeguarding officer and got completely overwhelmed with passion for it. Wow, they do say you need a certain certain type of personality, you know, to be a great teacher. You seem to have that because you're very passionate, very enthusiastic. At the same time, you, you, know, you know, you make sure that you really, really bring out the best in the kids. I've seen your team perform and they were even one of the winners last, in last year's Redbridge Got Talent. What was that like? It was so exciting for the girls. They work so hard and they try so hard. They put in so much effort. And then, of course, it's just a few moments performance with all that week's build up to it. So to be recognized for what they've done and for their effort is wonderful. They were so thrilled and they're so excited to be back here again today. Oh, fantastic. I know because there's a really tough competition as well. To win with this tough competition is really great. And we've got the cream of Redbridge here, so which is really great fun. So we've got a dance -a taking place on the 20th of April. Tell me, what does dance mean to you? Oh, for me, it's a lot of things. It's fun, it's fitness, it's friendship and more importantly I think it's something to tide the girls through to their adulthood. I think it's really important for children to find something that they love that they will keep doing on evenings and weekends. So when you see girls grow and become junior coaches and then become adult coaches and they always feel they have a safe home in their studio or their gym or their dance school, I think that's the most precious thing about dance. Do you know that's really true? It's like a family isn't it? Because you find that kids, they come for years and years they develop their skills and their talents over a period of time and then as they're growing they make friends and that becomes their little peer group which is a positive peer group because they're involved in a real positive activity so that's a very true point I, I, I do agree with you there as well Catherine really great and here we, with the dance -a -thon side we're trying to encourage as many people as possible to come along and enjoy a hundred minutes dance -a -thon. what would you say about that what would you tell our listeners who may be maybe thinking should I go or not go. I think it sounds fantastic and I think that there's always space for anybody to dance. We've seen all sorts of people on all sorts of dance related programs. You only need to look at Strictly to realise that people of any shape or size or age can make a success of their dancing. As long as you want to do it, you will be able to do it. Absolutely. And it's also for social fun, isn't it? It's not, it doesn't have to be even for professional competitions. It could be just come along, have some fun, make some friends. And you know, you spoke about these television shows. Do you find there's a bit of a rise in all these talent shows that's taking place. Absolutely, which in many ways I think is fantastic because there are people coming and doing talents that perhaps they might have hidden under a bushel. So I think one of the most wonderful things for me is when I see particularly teenage boys being able to perform ballet style dance and lyrical dance in front of a panel of celebrities who then applaud them and give them the confidence to stand up and say, this is who I am and this is what I love. And regardless of how my peers judge me, this is what I'm passionate about. And the more confidence and the more emphasis there is on inclusion, particularly with boys, with all sorts of new cultural dances and with people of all ages and abilities, particularly within the SEN side of things. Whenever we see children, we have a, a SEN team of our own. And although teaching all the girls and boys is fantastic, there's nothing more rewarding than watching a child who considers themselves to be excluded from society for whatever reason, finding a place to shine. That's wonderful. Look at it, wonderful. You, because really, you know, society at this moment in time is made up of so many different backgrounds. It could be not just cultural backgrounds. It could be people with different abilities, different levels, different interests. But dance is something that tends to really piece things together. And it's like a something, it's like a little magnet that it tends to uplift anyone from whatever background you come from, including, you know, people like yourself who use dance to help uplift people, to bring out the best in them. Well, is there a last minute message that you'd like to give to our listeners out there relating to dance? I think that the most important thing to remember is there's never
never a reason not to dance, never stop dance, never walk away from dance. I think dance can be taken up at any age and at any stage. It will keep you fit. It will keep you happy. It's fantastic for mental health issues. It's social. It's just wonderful. Everybody should dance. That is fantastic. I feel like going right now and starting my 100 minutes dance-a-thon. Thank you, Catherine, from Black Eyes Cheer. Thank you for joining us here on New Sound Radio 92. 90-